Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 semester 2, chapter 1 ratios and proportion, exercise 1.1. See now question number 1. Pawan and Roshan started a business with 150,000 rupees and 2 lakh rupees respectively. After 9 months, Roshan left from the business. At the end of the year, they got a profit of 45,000 rupees. Then find the profits shared by Pawan and Roshan. Let us see the solution. Pawan's investment is 1,50,000 rupees. Pawan's period in business is 1 year that equals to 12 months. Next, Roshan's investment is 2 lakh rupees and Roshan's period in business is 9 months. See now the ratio of investments of Pawan to Roshan that is 1,50,000 is to 2 lakhs. Dividing the both terms by 50,000, now the ratio is 3 is to 4, that is 50,000 3 is 1,50,000, 50,000 4 is 2 lakhs. So the ratio is here 3 is to 4. Next, the ratio of periods of business of power to Roshan, 12 months is to 9 months. On dividing both terms by 3, 3 4 is 12, 3 is 9, so the ratio is 4 is to 3. Now, the profit should be distributed on the basis of compound ratio. Previous two ratios that is 3 is to 4, 4 is to 3. We know compound ratio formula A into C is to B into D. That is 3 into 4 is to 4 into 3. That equals to 3 4s are 12, 4 3s are 12. On dividing both terms by 12, the ratio is 1 is to 1. See here they are given profit 45,000 rupees. Total parts that equals to compound ratio add now 1 plus 1 that is 2. So the given profit must be divided into 2 parts. Power's profit that equals to total amount 45,000 into out of 2 parts 1 part is Power's profit. So 1 by 2 that equals to 45,000 on dividing by 2. 22,500 rupees we got as Pawan's profit. Next, Roshan's profit that equals to total amount 45,000 rupees into out of two parts, his share is one part, so one by two. Now, dividing 45,000 rupees by two, we get 22,500 rupees. Therefore, Pawan's and Roshan's profit is 22,500 rupees each. See now question number two. Salman started a hotel with an amount of 75,000 rupees. After 5 months, Deepak joined with an amount of 80,000 rupees. At the end of the year, they earned a profit of 73,000 rupees. How will they share their profit? Let us see the solution. Salman's investment is 75,000 rupees. Salman's period in business that is 1 year that equals to 12 months. Deepak's investment is 80,000 rupees. Deepak's period in business. That is, Deepak started his business after 5 months Salman started his business. So, 12 minus 5 we get 7 months. So, Deepak's period in business is 7 months. Now, the ratio of investments of Salman to Deepak that equals to 75,000 is to 80,000. Dividing both terms by 1000, we will get 75 is to 80. Again, dividing these two terms by 5, the ratio is 15 is to 16. See now, the ratio of periods of business of Salman to Deepak, that is 12 months is to 7 months, that is 12 is to 7. Now, the profit should be distributed on the basis of compound ratio. Previous ratio is 15 is to 16 and this ratio is 12 is to 7. We know compound ratio formula A into C that is 15 into 12 is to B into D that is 16 into 7. That equals to 15 into 12 180 is to 16 into 7 that is 112. Dividing both terms by 4, 45 4 is 180 that is to 28 4 is 112. So, the compound ratio is 45 is to 28. They have given profit as 73,000 rupees. 
total parts equals to add this compound ratio 45 plus 28 that equals to 73. Now let us find Salman's profit that equals to total profit 73,000 into his share is 45 out of 73. So 45 by 73. 73 ones are 73. 73 table 1000 times 73,000. Now multiply numerator 1000 into 45 that is 45,000 rupees. Therefore Salman's profit is 45,000 rupees. Next Deepak's profit that equals to total profit is 73,000 into his share is 28 out of 73. So 28 by 73. 73 ones are 73. 73 table 1000 times 73,000. Now multiply 1000 into 28 that is 28,000 rupees. Therefore, Deepak's profit is 28,000 rupees. See now question number 3. Ramaya took a grass field for rent for grazing his 24 cows. After 5 months, Somaya also joined with him for his 40 cows. At the end of the year, they paid a rent of 35,500 rupees. What would be the rent paid by each of them? Let us see the solution. Number of cows Ramaya had that is 24 cows. Number of months Ramaya took for rent that is 1 year that equals to 12 months. Next number of cows Somaya had that equals to 40 cows. Number of months Somaya took for rent that is 5 months after Ramaya that is 12 minus 5 that is 7 months. Therefore number of months Somaya took for rent that is 7 months. See now the ratio of number of cows of Ramaya to Somaya that is 24 is to 40. On dividing both terms by 8, 8 threes are 24, 8 fives are 40. So the ratio is 3 is to 5. Next the ratio of number of months for rent of Ramaya to Somaya that is 12 months is to 7 months that is 12 is to 7. Now the rent should be distributed on the basis of compound ratio. Previous ratio is 3 is to 5 and this ratio is 12 is to 7. We know compound ratio formula A into C that is 3 into 12 is to B into D that is 5 into 7 that equals to 3 12s are 36 is to 5 into 7 that is 35. Therefore compound ratio is 36 is to 35. They have given rent 35,500. Total parts compound ratio let us add. 36 plus 35 that equals to 71. Ramaya share for rent that equals to total rent to be paid that is 35,500 into Ramaya share is 36 parts out of 71. So write down here into 36 by 71. 71 ones are 71. In 71 table 500 times 35,500. Now multiply numerator 500 into 36 that is 18,000 rupees. Next Somaya's share for rent that equals to total rent to be paid that is 35,500 into his share is 35 parts out of 71. So multiplied by 35 by 71. 71 table 71 ones are 71 and 500 times is 35,500. Now multiply numerator 500 into 35 that equals to 17,500 rupees. Therefore, Ramaya share for rent is 80,000 rupees and Somaya share for rent is 17,500 rupees. See now question number 4. Ravi started a business with 2,10,000 rupees. After a few months, Prakash joined in the business with an amount of 3,60,000 rupees. At the end of the year, if they got a profit of 1,20,000 each, then find after how many months did Prakash join in the business. Let us see the solution. Ravi's investment is 2,10,000 rupees. Ravi's period in business is 1 year that equals to 12 months. Next, Prakash's investment is 3,60,000 rupees. Prakash's period in business that is... 12 minus x months. Why? Because they have not mentioned how many months Prakash joined after Ravi started his business. So let us treat x months. So Ravi's investment started for 12 months. After x months Prakash joined. So 12 minus x months we have taken 
by Prakash Kiriadin Business. Now, the ratio of investment of Ravi to Prakash, that is 2 lakh 10,000 is to 3 lakh 60,000. Dividing both terms by 10,000, we get 21 is to 36. Again, dividing both terms by 3, 3 sevens are 21, 3 twelves are 36. So, the ratio is 7 is to 12. C. The profit should be distributed on the basis of compound ratio. So, we got two ratios that is 7 is to 12 and 12 is to 12 minus x. We know compound ratio formula product of antecedents equal to product of consequence. That is antecedents means 7 into 12 that equals to product of consequence that is 12 into 12 minus x. That implies 7 into 12 that is 84 that equals to 12 into 12 144 minus 12 into x that is 12x. That implies minus 12x on transposing it becomes plus 12x that equals to 144 plus 84 on transposing it becomes minus 84. That implies 12x equal to 144 minus 84 that is 60. Here 12 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So x equal to 60 by 12. 12 table 5 times 60. So the x value is 5. Therefore, after 5 months, Prakash joined in the business. Today, we have seen Class 7, Semester 2, Chapter 1, Ratios and Proportion, Exercise 1.1, All Sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.